Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. Again, this was our exclusive Patreon uh, video yesterday talking about things are in motion. And again, so much of what we see is just to keep us occupied. Indeed. Meanwhile, multiple drone incursions just occurred over United States Air Force fighter base in England. This is the latest incident involving groups of drones flying over sensitive areas. Yes, and in fact, it, it's happened in the UK. It's happened in multiple places in the US uh, and other areas as well. A little poking, a little prodding. You know, we've covered some of the drone uh, situations which have looked to be pretty advanced <laughs> and so you know the question might arise are some of these uh let's say the BRICS nations are some of these maybe et related as well so this is mentioning an, an incursion in new jersey uh as well you know i think i think all the above is really going on as we know there's a lot of interested uh, beings interested in the Earth at this point in time for more than one reason. I, I think there's many layers going on. Multiple layers. Yeah, I think they love always to get us into uh, either or. Which is it? When it's all the above and not just all the above, there's more as well. But wait, there's more. And we have the U.S. Embassy in Britain was closed after a suspicious package was found near it and it was uh, destroyed in a controlled explosion. Hmm, interesting. And then you had London Gatwick Airport announcing the evacuation of the southern terminal due to uh, an incident. All clear had been given. Uh, times are, are tense. This type of thing does happen in a wartime scenario. Meanwhile, you have Russia closing Ukrainian airspace in preparation for a massive new uh, IB, IRBM, ICBM salvo. <laughs> Perhaps. We'll see. You know, we'll see. You know, again, there's this ratcheting up that in many cases takes far longer than people anticipate, yet still catches others unaware. And the DOD adjusts their nuclear deterrent strategy as nuclear peer adversaries escalate. Multiple nuclear peer adversaries challenge the U.S. and its allies and its partners' security, according to the DOD. So they are making preparations to perhaps have to uh, dissuade multiple countries at one time from attacking us in uh, a nuclear manner as well as conventional but this is primarily talking about again adjusting nuclear strategy which is something that russia just did so pretty obvious tit for tat and that definitely ratchets up the anxiety level for so many I, that's what i'm thinking too and then we have russia laying out these little dots these these are targets so they've given uh well, they've given a map of, of potential targets that might be struck in another salvo. As you can see, there's uh, six locations in the UK and assorted uh, locations throughout Germany, Amsterdam, Belgium, down into Rome, over into Spain, and many other locations as well. And meanwhile, the North Korean troops that are massed in Russia are, are said to be ready to enter the war pretty much at a moment's notice and uh, the number commonly given is 10,000 as we know there was a North Korean general in injured in uh, the fighting statistics show it's more dangerous to speak openly in the UK right now than in Russia in Russia 400 people were arrested for social media posts in the UK 3300 plus arrested in the same year so uh, freedom of speech, it seems to be more likely that you will have more freedom of speech in, in Russia at this point in time than in the UK. Uh, it's interesting to watch the way things go. And over 100,000 more chickens and turkeys killed after more avian flu cases found in Utah. Ah, you know, again, every time we go shopping, it, the food prices are absolutely insane 
And, you know, for some people that are on fixed incomes, it's, it's, it is. It's just complete insanity. How are you going to possibly keep up with the basic needs? This is really what, what's hitting humanity. Well, yeah, I think a lot of people are just, you know, kind of having to go without. I, what are you going to do if you can't eat the bad food that makes you sick? Uh, you, you have to spend whatever you have on the good food and go without. Meanwhile, adding fluoride to the water increases the risk of neuropsychiatric disease in children, reduces their IQ. We can strengthen teeth without consuming this neurotoxin. The data is consistent. Adding fluoride to our community's water must stop. And this is again from uh, Joseph Ladapo. And he is uh, in charge of, of health over in Florida. Florida leading the way again in so many different things. Um, absolutely, it's, it's very refreshing to hear this and, and to see what's happening there. But we need much more than just this. There is so much going on. The video we just did on EE Arts um, talking about everything to do with the weather and certain DOD statements and terminology. Um, yeah, there's a long way to go. We have a lot of catching up to do. What are we looking at? Is this part of an alien invasion? It's actually the close-up of a longhorn beetle's face. Can you imagine if this thing was six or seven feet tall? That would be pretty damn scary. It looks like a sci-fi movie, does it not? Look at this photo of an eye, and it feels like a black hole. It feels like there's gravitational forces, you know, pulling the consciousness inside it. I like the bug. It's, it's a face only a mother could love. Yes, absolutely. This is so cool. This is oxygen production on a leaf. Um, if we could really see the world for what it is, consciousness... Consciousness has created this realm to explore, to learn, and to grow. That is the big reveal. This is an ant. I mean, talk about a scary-looking, demonic uh, soldier type. <laughs> Can you imagine again if an ant was the size of a human? Well, maybe on some planets there are. I know. I mean, it looks like those teeth or whatever could just sink right in. And then we have the ant people of the Hopi and other um, other indigenous people's legends, so to speak. Um, but they're not terrifying like that face is. Here's mushrooms releasing millions of microscopic spores into the wind to reproduce. Yeah, everything about our system. When you zoom into a leaf, as above, so below. As within, so without. So looking into a leaf and the farther in we go, you know, it's a fractal universe. It's a fractal universe. And when we look at this, all of a sudden now at this point, then we're starting to see paths, roads, trails. Um, it looks like forest. You know, are, are there little beings transversing, you know, this, this area? Ah, yes. Each one of us is a absolute universe unto ourselves this is part of the big reveal white blood cells attacking a parasitic worm which everybody has again wormwood wormwood uh that is a key a key as well as black walnut holes cloves um these things are fabulous for detoxifying and and creating a more advantageous microbiome and, and very, very necessary. It's just kind of like a, a secret that most doctors don't want to talk about. Here is a macro shot of a chameleon's eye. Uh, it's just fascinating. And, and the ballpoint pen losing the ink as it goes over the paper. You know, when we look at things up close, like these are grains of salt. They're perfect cubes. They look like dice. It looks like dice that somebody has, has carved or maybe ancient dice that you dug up. This is a cat's tongue under a microscope. It looks like it's made of other tongues. And then we have a neuron trying in vain to find and connect with other neurons. Well, you know, again, if you go back to that that thing that was throwing all sorts of spores in the air, there was a time in the desert um, that I had a, a mushroom dinner, let's say, as I've said before, and this is exactly what I saw out in space. 
it was just like this uh, everywhere it, and and every star is connected we might not be able to see it with our own eyes but every single star is connected to another star just as each one of us seem to be completely individuated uh, beings but we are all connected that's part of the bigger reveal as above so below and then I want to just show you this. This is from 1562. I think we've shown this once before. It's an oil painting. Wow, look at this. Castle up on the hill. What's going on here? It looks like an army going off to war. Uh, yeah, a lot of people marching. It looks like medieval times, you know, 1500s. And then you say, why are they riding Brontosaurus? W what the heck? It looks like they're riding Dino. Kid you not. Does that not look like a brontosaurus? That doesn't look like an elephant. They're not riding giraffes. I don't think that looks like a brontosaurus in 1562. Wait a minute. What's going on here? I mean, you could almost say sort of kind of maybe that's a camel, but still, it's still not quite right for a camel. Yeah, no, that's that's not right for a camel unless, you know, people heard of camels maybe or or just heard of um elephants and kind of got them confused and giraffes never seen them for themselves so they tried to kind of combine or i don't know but otherwise were dinosaurs being used to lay siege to castles in 1562 looks highly possible i love this one from now on money laundering will be called foreign aid isn't that cute? It is. It is. And this is adorable. She's got control of this because she's got her backup with her. Yeah, those aren't my puppies. No, no. You, you would just see <laughs> somebody flying through the air. Uh, yeah. As always, guys, come and join us on, the, on our Patreon. Uh, less than one dollar menu item per month. Exclusive videos each week. It helps us to to get out the word and awaken the planet. Source bless and namaste. Namaste.